Melodic House and Techno at its best from a clan carousel and given. Follow is the name of that song. Right now, we'd like to say hi to an old friend and a former <laughs> DJ at Groove Radio, Pete Lormare. How's it going, Pete? Greetings, what's up, Eagle? Uh, just for all your listeners, I'm sure you already know this. Eagle, you are a god. Well, thank a you. God. And, and so are you, Pete Lormer. <laughs> and uh, the reason that we have Pete Lormer here is because many years ago, you used to be 29 Palms. But let me first give a little update on Pete Lormer. He's an OG house music producer, longtime collaborator with Richard Vision in the 90s, current music producer, Netflix host, real estate entrepreneur, biz dev mentor, serial creative obsessive vlogger from the UK. Did I get it right? I think you got most of it. Uh, and I think we'll throw in their addictive espresso drinker as well. But that, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you need the energy to keep up with everything that you're doing. I do, I do. So, so back in the day, you were producing music with Richard. You were doing a whole bunch of things. And then you came out with this song called Touch the Sky, 29 Palms. And it was released on Paul Oakenfold's label, right? Right. So it was released. I can't even believe that it was re released in 2001. And uh, Paul is actually a mate. And I, and I see him. He lives here in L.A. I'm sure you see him as well, Eagle. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, he came up to me. He's like, yeah, show Pete. We're going to be releasing 29 Palms again as one of the greatest hits of Perfecto. Uh, and he said, who do you want to remix it? And so I was like, I hadn't done a remix. I haven't done a remix in 16, 17 years, right? Wow. Long time. And so I said to Paul, you know what? I'll have a crack at it. So... This is actually the first record I have done in retirement, uh, since retirement, uh, all the way back to 2002 or three, something like that. So, so how does that make you? It's in, it's in your charts. Can't believe it. Yeah. So how did that make you feel? Did you have? Did you have to go to a studio? Did you have enough equipment at home? How did you do it? So fortunately, I mean, I go I go as far back as two inch tape, you know, 24 tracks, but then. Now technology is just so that I had, I just bought another copy of Logic. I spoke to my boy, Chris Cox. I said, what are the best synth softwares out there? He gave me the top five. I bought everything. I sat down and it was kind of like riding a bike. You know, in fact, it was easier because you've got things like splice and all of these sounds that now just penetrate the samplers from the internet. It isn't like going through vinyl back in the day, finding samples. Right, right, right. Very good, very good. So do you think that, you know, have you been bitten again? Do you think that you want to do more? You know, it's you know it's in my blood eagle. Even though I'm a business guy now, I'm always a raver, always will be a raver. And yeah, let's just say I've already spoken with maybe even one of your upcoming guests about a collaboration, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep that secret for now. Okay. Well, we don't have that many guests to choose from. So <laughs> I think I got a good idea, but we'll keep it secret for now. We'll announce it when it's more appropriate. So just exactly. quickly, uh, before we play the song, how's the real estate business been, been going for you? So, you know, I, I, I left the music industry after being in it for 16, 17, 18 years. And I kind of wanted to, I, I kind of felt that the MP3 thing was going to change the industry, which it did. And then I got into something that I didn't think I could find creativity in. And I've been a real estate entrepreneur. I'm a real estate broker in LA. I own my own company. I actually work on, we, we specialize in creatives and I work with more people in the music business now as a real estate guy than I did when I was actually a record producer. All of those stars that wouldn't let me work with them as a remixer, now let me sell their houses. So I'm very, very grateful. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you've been working with quite a few celebrities. I have, I have. Um, are you gonna ask me to drop some names? Yeah. You know I'm not allowed to. I'm okay, not allowed all right, to. all right, all right, NDAs. all right. Okay, so tell us, how did this song come together in the first place, Touch the Sky? Like what was the inspiration so for this song back in the day? So I was uh, at a bit of a watershed, right? I'd, I'd spent a long time with Richard and I, 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 I actually, this was the one tune that I sat down and I wrote it for myself. And I actually didn't care if anybody liked it. I just wanted to get it out almost like a piece of art. And then I took it to Paul and Paul said, oh yeah, mate, I think you've got something here. And so, um, <laughs> you know, we just, I went back and put a top line on it and did the piano and then put it out, Pete Tong, you know, jumped on it back in the day. And, you know, the rest is history. It did really, really well. And and actually the money from 29 Palms is what I used to invest in my uh, fledgling real estate business. Oh, that's so fantastic. it's a beautiful loop. 
Yeah, absolutely. And here we are 19 years later, and we're going to be listening to the new 2020 Extended Piano Stonker Mix. Yes, yes. Stonker is a very British word. It means I don't really know what it means. It means, in American, it would be like it's a true hands in the air, but stonker is just like a real head bobbing, you know, right. chunky, chunky. So finally, if somebody wants to buy a house or get a house for sale, how do we contact you? Uh, you can just go on my website, peterlorimer.com. You can go on Instagram, peterlorimer.com, from house to houses. There you go. Transition. Perfect. Very, very good. Very good. Thank you so much for talking with us. This is 29 Palms and Touch the Sky. See you later, Pete. Take care. See you, mate. Love you, mate. Ralph. Ralph. Groove Radio.